Was this one of the tougher ones because it seemed like this is more self-inflicted with the penalties, with the with the turnovers? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's they're all tough, but uh, yeah, this one's tough because just and I really I keep saying it every week, but it just feels like we're right there and we're just a few plays off, and it's just a few little things that we just got to fix and clean up to to get better. But the hard part is we're running out of games to do that, so. It's just going to be a project. It's going to be something we're going to have to continue to work on throughout this offseason and these next two two games is just continue to not shoot ourselves in the foot and just try to try to continue to play hard. But I'm really happy with, like Coach Chang said, just how how hard everybody played the whole game. And I mean, it felt like we were in it the whole time. So. Um, you guys, you know, you guys had momentum on some drives, but then obviously it gets killed by penalties. How frustrating is that for you? You know, when when you guys are kind of operating, but you know, kind of shooting yourselves in the foot um, with penalties and, and things like that. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely frustrating. You know, I mean, that's just it's kind of been the story of our season. Is just we're, we do something good and then it gets called back, or I mean, I make a mistake, somebody makes a mistake. We're just we're not playing eleven on eleven football, as Coach Chang always likes to say. We always got one guy making a mistake and a lot of time that's me and a lot of time it's other guys but it doesn't it doesn't matter i mean it's it's always one guy messing up and that's going to mess up the whole play so it's just something we're going to have to continue to work on is just playing 11 on 11 and getting every guy to do the right thing and and, and uh, just do their 111 hey Braden, how did you personally respond or regroup after the pick six with about 5 minutes left and uh, what did you see and, and do from that point on to try to give yourselves a chance just keep playing, you know. I mean, I knew we would continue to have a chance, and uh, I was. It was awesome to see Thailand run that one in, and then uh, we had a nice drive there at the end. And I mean, that's just what you got to do is keep playing, and that's what I'm really happy with. Especially all these seniors, it's just it's so awesome to see the fight that they have and continue to have, and it's just really inspiring. It inspires all the younger guys, just see them continue to fight. So, I mean, I just feel for these seniors, um, but we're gonna try to try to go out and, uh, and and send them off the right way these next two games. Brandon, um, is there like a player or sequence that you think if things go different there, obviously the game, the game might change? Yeah, I mean, you can play that game all day. There's several times where I could have done something better, somebody could have done something better, and, and we're in a different situation than we are right now. So it's just, it's tough. And like I said, that's kind of been the story of our season. We just got to get everybody on the same page. We got to all do the right thing. And that's what you see the elite teams do is, is they're all on the right, on the same page and they're all doing the things that everybody expects them to do. And that's just stuff we got to continue to clean up. Coach, <clears throat> Coach Chang always talks about the 24-hour rule. You know, now you guys look towards UNLV. How important is it for you guys to kind of rebound and get get on the right track for these seniors on senior night um, next week Saturday? Yeah, I think we just uh, yeah, like you said, 24-hour rule. Just gotta really go in and look at the positives from this game and look how we're right there and we made a lot of good plays. There's a lot of highlights from that, but then we just gotta flip the switch and, and get ready for the next week because uh, we got a tough game coming up here at home. So. We just got to flip the switch and uh, and get ready for that one because, you know, we just got to, like I said, play for these seniors and really just uh, just put our uh, put our lives on the line and heart on the line for them so that we can go out and send them off the right way. Um, so you guys had to get back on the field as, really super, as soon as possible on the turnovers on against the short field as well. But you guys did pretty good, pretty good, I guess, against that. Could you, I guess, talk about your defensive performance tonight? I mean, honestly, I think our defense. I mean, we had a rough start. You know, we came out a little slow, had some mental mistakes here and there that we could have avoided. But I feel like all season long, our defense has been pretty locked down, you know, especially in the red zone, you know. And I think we played, I think we played together, you know, from that first couple of mistakes on for the rest of the game. I think we did a good job of sticking together, you know, playing for each other and stuff like that. What was the adjustment you guys made? Because you only gave up 74 yards in the second half. Um, honestly, maybe. I don't know how it may be if Coach Earl adjusted play calls or nothing, but we ran the same thing the whole game, you know, so I think it was just more of a we got to stop making mental mistakes. And I guess like like Coach Chang said and Coach, uh, I mean, uh, Braden said that we're shooting ourselves in the foot too much, you know, pass interferences, you know, and rough, whatever, any personal fouls we had, giving them a free first down. It was just uh, more of us mentally making the right corrections to fix, you know, whatever problems we had in the first quarter, our first half. Same question I had uh, for Braden. You know, you guys have a you know 24-hour role. Moving on to UNLV, how important is it for you guys to get on the right track for these seniors and get them a win on Senior Day? 
I mean, right now I feel like that's what we're playing for, you know, it's for them seniors, you know, we're not bowl eligible, whatever, we're not going to have a winning season anymore. And I mean, obviously that sucks, but, you know, the seniors have two more games left, you know, and some might not even play a game of football or a day of practice anymore, you know, so I guess it's all for them pretty much. You know, I'm playing for especially the defensive guys, you know, I see them put in all the work, you know, put in all that time, you know, and I know it's rough for them to go through a season like this, but I play for both of them on offense and defense. What was it like for you to get, because you had those, I guess, two sacks and they were kind of at like really important moments, I guess, during the game. Uh, you know, it was just everybody else doing their job to get me free. I came in free on both of them, you know, it was, it's pretty easy for me to get those sacks, you know, because other people were, you know, getting taken up by other people. So, I mean, yeah, that's it.